Hi, welcome to Texas Longwood. Make out your source for Redfield Truth. And uh, today we are going to discuss passport brothers and passport sisters going overseas and to other countries looking for love. Now, <coughs> now here's a, here's a warning. Your discretion advised. It may not be suitable, suitable for audience, so you were warned. And I might trigger some hurt feelings. But right now, I'm talking to you in a logical form fact. Log logical form format. All right? I'm going to tell you up front. I want you to listen to me up front. All right? <coughs> Sorry about that. I have a horrible cough. <coughs> now, in this form fat, format, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to hope I can get some census in your head. Now, if you decide to go get your passport, hey, great. Great. You want to go check out history and look at the museums? Hey, that's great. You want to go put your hand on a piece of history that, that was made years ago? Go for it. Have at it. Have fun. Have fun. Okay? Go for it. Sky's the limit. I mean, and then if you're going over here looking for a, uh, now for the passport sisters, going to look for a husband. You know, if you're coming out of the United States with this little arrogant, oh, I don't need a man attitude, and I don't cook, and I don't clean, and I ain't going to do nothing for my man, I ain't going to do nothing. The man's going to do it all, and I'm going to lay on my backside and do it, let him do it all. All right, women, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to passport sister, and I'm going to warn you. You go in there, you go in that country with that attitude, yeah, you're going to be, uh, you are going to face The worst case scenario. In some countries and cultures, if you go in there and badmouth a man, that man can pop you upside your mouth and actually make you uh, behave. Whereas in the United States, you can smart off to a man, he, he can't do do this squat. Now to the passport brothers, you're going to look for a bride. Look for someone to procreate, make a family. <coughs> now, some of these women are looking for help. All right? They know that American men or passport brothers got money. All they got to do is see that, see that uh, money flashing on you. But you want to jump on me? Go right ahead, jump on me. And I'm just... Speaking from experience, let me tell you something. Being a passport brother to go to other countries to, uh, you know, to um, find love, they know you're going to have money on you. They know this. They know you are going to have money. So they're going to access it. What I'm trying to say is gold diggers not only exist here in the United States, they also exist abroad. Now, take note. When you go into another country, the legal system is a little different from the United States. I don't know how they handle their, uh, you know, robbery o o over there. I don't know how they <laughs> handle uh, men being finessed. <coughs> Sorry about that. See, I don't know how they handle this. For example, so you go to Saudi Arabia, you go to Iraq, you go to Iran, you go to some of these other countries. I don't know how they're going to handle this. Of course, they're going to have translators there, they're going to have lawyers there, or their legal system is different. I don't know how, I don't know how it is over there. Or you can go to El Salvador, go to Guatemala, go to Mexico. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how the legal systems work over there. But they're going to see you walking with 
uh, money flashing on you. And what I'm saying is, yeah, go grab your passport, go grab you, get you one, go travel. You know, have fun. But if you're going to look for love, you might become a statistic. Yeah, go go ahead, jump on me if you want to. Go ahead and talk me, talk down to me. But what I'm telling you is, be smart about this. And uh, yeah, if you go to Russia, you go to China. <coughs> excuse me. So you go to Russia, go to China. You can go to all these places. I'm telling you. And I'm gonna put this. Roll up here. Let you uh, read this. Um, yeah, this is for those who wants to go travel. And here you go. This is for USA passport, so to speak. I mean, you're free to go and travel. You're free to go out there, and you're you're free to go go and uh, do do as you please. And um, <coughs> and uh, um, you know, I mean, well, I mean, I got this. I got this one right here. Um, I got this. Now, it's better to be smart. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's better to be smart. It's better to be smart about this. Now, <coughs> sorry about that. Now, this, this, you know, and uh, I'm gonna open up this YouTube channel and I'm gonna get the, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find the uh, credible website. Um, <coughs> you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, and. I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to. You know, the passport brother can get mad if they want to. All right. Now. I mean, name is uh, Duke the Don. I'm gonna find out what website he used to get the uh, latest news. You know, it was on Instagram, and uh, you know, he went. You know, this passport brother got robbed in Columbia. To the people in Columbia, if you're out there robbing people, that tourist, that's going to hurt your economy. That's going to hurt your bottom line. That's going to give people in Columbia a bad name. <coughs> All right. And... 
And, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna pull up a web I'm gonna pull up a website all right and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find it Okay, this is off. I'm, I'm gonna get this Reddit. And you know this this is this 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 is serious, folks. I'm I'm gonna so yeah. Uh, let me let me go ahead and pull. Let me go ahead. And <clears throat> Let me take this image down and um, I'm going to put this up here. Okay, you ready? See, American man robbed and killed in Medellin, Colombia after meeting a girl on a dating app. Even meeting on dating apps is very dangerous. Meeting on a dating app. Medellin, Colombia. Okay, Paul and Gwen's family. He's a Vietnamese uh, descent. Bringing the body back to Orange County. Okay, Amy Gwen, Paul's sister, said last week Paul was traveling abroad for the first time meeting a friend. Okay, Paul met a girl on Tinder. Oh, wow. You got to pay to access some of the features on Tinder. And listen, you're putting your life in somebody else's hand. All right, her brother was asked to even a bar. Listen, people, listen, people. You cannot find nice people in freaking bars or clubs. Okay, you can, and from the look of it, he looked like he's in his 20s. You cannot find nice people in clubs. Did you get that? Did you get what I'm saying? You cannot find people in clubs. Nice people. You can find criminals in clubs because that is a breeding ground to rob people, to get money out of people. Okay? Now, Paul Gwynn's family is focused on bringing his body back to Orange County, California. Let me tell you what. Um, you know what? And, and uh, Thursday round two, and then a uh, body was found later that morning. They took his belongings. We know his carts were swiped at, after 4 a.m. Multiple people involved. That was in Columbia. Colombian authorities suspect her brother was drugged and robbed. Drugged and robbed. You, okay, you travel to a, out of country to meet someone. To fall in love with. You're putting your life into somebody else's hands. No arrest been made in Paul's death. Amy said, feel so surreal we find out. It was overwhelming trying to figure out it's harder. We can't see him back home. We're working hard to bring him back. And, and they're gonna have to they're gonna have to lay him to rest. Uh the funeral's going to cost easily fifteen to 20000 You got to pay the fee to have his body transported from Columbia to the United States. There's money you got to pay on that. And... Now, this might be 
alleged the girl that sent him up related advice from a Colombian local. If you're a tourist, stay the F off of Tinder. I tell everyone visiting not to leave your street mark, smart at Rio Negro. If something seems to good to be real, okay, 19 year old, and I want to have a drink at your hotel to see where the night goes, just that. If there aren't tourists coming here to have bedroom fun with beautiful young women, this would not be a trend. However, this has been a while. Girls are mostly controlled by someone from their barrio. And that's who you're talking to on Tinder. To the Passport Brothers, you think you're going to find somebody to, you want to talk to a girl, and you don't know if she's being controlled by a behind the scene by somebody else? Really? And if you come here to snort cocaine off a $10 backside to see what you saw on Narcos, maybe get a burner phone, leave your MacBook, drone, camera, designer clothes at home. Get cash, pay for your own Pablo Escobar tour and prepagos and put your passport wallet in the click, clack, save, and call it a day. That's way more than to the day and then Parque Liras and Laurelis. I'm not trying to victim blame here. I see tourists here and overwhelming majority of men are looking for bedroom fun or drugs. If you're looking for some dangerous stuff, you're going to find it here. All right. That's from a Colombian local. To the passport brother, oh, I want to go find me a wife in Colombia. I want to find me somebody somewhere else. These women are too American. Uh, you know, what you're looking for, you probably got it right here. Right here. And and also take note. <coughs> you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. I'm going to go back to this here. This was deleted. Look at this. Do you know this girl? Three million dollars. Okay. Cop reward. She was involved in Paul Gwynn's murder. And it was deleted by the person who originally posted. Alright. And this was two months ago. Okay. Look at this. Competent and these guys would be better off paying for an escort. At least he'll make it out alive. Pay an escort. I mean, you want to have bedroom fun? And an escort is up front. At least it's transaction. And it could be gangs using that her as bait. I hope she'd get caught. Well... Even WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, and uh, this here, and and also two months ago, I had a friend who died last year from the same thing. He got robbed and drugged one month before, then it happened second time. He didn't live through it. It happened way too much, many times. It never makes the news. It happens to Colombians a lot well. And there's a YouTube video, but I'm not going to play it. It might be copyrighted. <coughs> so 
It's unsettling how most guys on Threaded Obsessed have taken just in their own hands against a woman and not a single word about her handlers. Listen, people. We live in a very dangerous world. And anyways, anyways, I agree this shouldn't be approached. I think we all know the numbers were reversed. Okay. And uh, um, 2530 Western women have been deleted. Thousand drug over the past by a midday and men that have similar calls would like to be approved. This would be global news. This person who happened to be a uh, alt gender nearly, okay. Well, she was controlled by somebody else behind the scenes. Listen. Tourism is going to suffer in that country. And anyways. And uh, knowledge of international law. Um, they extradite criminals to the United States all the time. But usually they're high profile drug traffickers. So extradition ain't gonna happen since it right here. Look at this. Extradition isn't gonna happen since it did not play, take place in the United States. In my case I spoke with the US Embassy in Bogota. Part of getting a new passport, and they said everything goes through with the Medellin police. I thought we have more influence than Colombia. We give them 50 million to 1 billion in foreign aid, not that's, but not so. <coughs> mm. So. And they're druggings and robberies. And it is, this is, this is, this is, this is serious, folks. Anyways, so anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up here to and this, this is a, this is serious. Um, anyways, there's other social media sites out there. Uh, anyways. This is this is some serious stuff, and ABC Seven is reporting on it. Some media, some media has been taking up the stories. All right. Now, I mean foreigners. 
They're going over here to look for bedroom fun. Find it in your own country. And this this is this is serious, folks. I'm going to tell you this. According to the comments, I'm going to take it off here and uh, oh wow, looking at this photo is scary as as it can get. Just by looking at this, she's well clean, well groomed. She possesses an Apple phone. Um, um anyways, it, it's this, well, we got, anyways, um, anyways, I, I just want y'all to know, um, the Passport Brothers, So, okay. Here we go. I'm going to put it up here. Yeah, I'm going to put it up here. My brother got robbed in Japan of his passport, cash, cards. He ain't got no ID and stuff. Look at this. It's off of Reddit. And he got robbed in Japan of his passport, cash, and cards. And You know, he's going to be stuck in Japan. And and uh, anyways, here you go. Because look at this. Look at this. And look at this. Look at this. And uh, this this is not very good. This ain't good at all. Most cab if they have Visa and MassCourt, they don't you prepay for the fare. That, that's how they make their money. Some cab drivers want they, they want their money for their service to render. Okay.
All right. <clears throat> so Take a good look at this. Look at this. German customs. Look at this. You take a good look at this. German customs. This is for a female. Sister held by German customs. They got to verify your identity in Germany. This to the sisters out there. Look at this. What gifts? Look at this. Uh, country's got rules. On passports they got rules on everything you get your cash stolen you're at the mercy of the country how are you going how, how are you going to get out of the country it costs money I'm not trying to discourage anybody to go out and look for love because You know, we have a criminal enterprise operating behind the scenes. And this is this serious. This is serious. And every look, listen. You make a choice. There's consequences for every choice you make. Is there not? <coughs> So, the tourists are the most common victims in countries to get robbed and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this scrolling off. But yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Because, I mean, they're making money off of tours. By robbing them. It's a criminal enterprise. Unless these countries clean up the, cr the criminal enterprise, the tourists are going to be vulnerable. Now to the passport sisters and the passport brothers, we're crying out like, please exercise common sense. Some people are not looking for love. They're actually looking for help. Okay. I want to say thank you very much for watching this show. And be sure to comment below. And listen, if you want to talk down on this video, go for it. Because common sense is the endangered species. Most people don't even go and have it. And peace!